Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in a place, a village called Mungban, which is a Shan, also known as the Taiyai people. It's a village, a community in the Mehongsan province of Northern Thailand. And the food is incredible. There's so many unique dishes here, so many unique ingredients. And we're staying at a homestay and tonight for dinner this afternoon, they are gonna make for us a completely vegetarian plant-based Shan meal, especially some of the local salad some of the salads are so good and so unique, so different from anything I've tried. So uh, some of the aunties have arrived at the house. We're gonna get started cooking and I'm gonna share these unique Shan salads with you for dinner tonight. We've been hanging out with Auntie for the last couple days at the homestay, and she is one of the funniest aunties you'll meet. She always cracks jokes. She's laughing. She and she is the the expert cook. So tonight she's making vegetarian food. I know there's going to be a salad made with a type of bean, kind of like almost they almost look like thick snow peas, which are called lab 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 in English, I believe, um, and then also a salad or a mix made from young tamarind leaves, which are there in the in the bowl. Yam makam. Pasa pasa Thai yai kam. Pasa Thai yai ne makam. Len makam. Yam som keng. Yam som keng. Okay, it's called yam som keng. Yam som keng. Som keng ko. Yam som keng. Som keng ko. Som keng ko. Uh, som keng ko. Ko is the Shan word or the Thai yai word for yam, which in Thai is uh, like a kind of like a salad, a mixed salad. So she first chops up some shallots, adds them to the young tamarind leaves. So peanuts are the next ingredient going into the mortar and pestle. She's going to pound that up. up the chilies and then also there's going to be a another salad I believe made with the fern okay so actually these chilies she's moved on to another dish the chilies that she's pounding is for a namprik a chili dip uh, which one of the names is called namprik tua now which is a namprik a chili dip made with fermented or actually rotten soybeans. Uh, the little discs, those are the, that's the ultimate ingredient of Shan cuisine, or used in almost every dish uh, as an umami boosting flavor enhancer, but they're fermented soybeans dried into disc shape. And yeah, they pound it, they're included in soups, they're included in dips, they're included in the curries. <laughs> She's mashing up a few discs of fermented bean to a now, uh, mashing them up into powder, and that's going to go into the young, the young tamarind shoot leaf salad. Sets that aside and now is pounding up some chilies, dried garyang, prick garyang, or Karen chilies. Those are some of the best chilies ever. They're so fragrant, they're so spicy. She specifically wanted dried chilies instead of fresh chilies uh, for that salad. Okay, a couple of charred roasted tomatoes are also going to go into the chili dip. Uh, so just peeled off that skin and into the, now it includes chilies and it includes the fermented soybeans. And the coriander here, it's so vibrant, it smells so good, it all comes from the garden uh, in the backyard. And that's going into the chili dip too. They're kind of almost like a cross between snow peas and long beans. 
or green beans. Almost have that same kind of taste and texture. Uh, they boiled them, slicing them into thin strips, and then she actually, they're so juicy, filled with so much water that she squeezes them out before adding them to the, to the mixing bowl. She already added some coriander in there as well. Okay, I think most of the paste, all the pounding, all the prep work is done, and now it's time to start mixing and frying and cooking. Okay, so she, she simmers some oil, adds in, chops and air slices in a couple tomatoes, sizzles those down, and then she adds in some of the paste that she pounded with the chilies and the fermented beans. Soybeans, um, and then just stirring that around. It's so aromatic as soon as you start frying that. Uh, she said that's actually going to be a dressing for the Lab Lab salad. Wow. <coughs> hey, okay. That's ready. That salad is ready. Another dish that she's gonna make for dinner is a boiled soup with mustard greens, I believe. Um, and then the soup, again, the base for the soup includes tuanao, so she added some of the tuanao powder, the fermented soybean powder. She added some of the pounded dry chili uh, into the base of the soup too. And then here goes in the vegetable. Oh, I think it's, it's either mustard greens or I think it's uh, yu choy. Salad, salad. <laughs> Once she pounds up that soybean, uh, and then adds it to water. It's very similar to miso, acts very similar to miso. The biggest difference between the, those soybean discs and miso is that uh, these soybean discs, they're not salty at all. Say king. Say king. Oh, say king loy. Okay, king. That's uh, ginger from, again, from the backyard that she just smashes and that goes into the soup. That's smelling so good. The fermented soybean, the ginger in there. The prep work was done, all the mashing and slicing and pounding. Uh, the cooking is done and now she says it's time to do the yum, do the salads, to mix all the salads together. And this is the final step before we're ready to eat. มันมันเอาพวกดอกนี้ทานเอาให้ออกจริงๆเหรอดีมากครับดีมากอร่อยอร่อยเอาไปก่อนพี่เอาแล้วนะเอาแล้วเนาะหม่อมหามากกว่าอ่าใช่ so this looks vibrant flavorful so much umami is going to come from the fermented soybean and that's just a beautiful spread of different dishes uh, many of the ingredients and the vegetables come from right here in the backyard okay i'm just going to start with that chili dip the numpik to a now fermented soybean chili dip so many uh dry chilies in here no, those are the fresh chilies, the, dry, the fresh chilies, the roasted tomatoes, coriander. I think she added some peanuts in here too, and salt. Oh wow, that is so good. It tastes like roasted, toasted soybeans with a tomato tartness, with a freshness from the coriander. Mm, it's nutty, that's just refreshing. Salty, tart, and just umami from the soybeans, and nutty. Oh yeah, it's so good. This is the one I really cannot wait to, well, all the salads I cannot wait to try, but the young tamarind leaves, the shoots, full of shallots, tomatoes in here, um, dried chili, and the paste, or the, um, the pounded powder of the fermented soybean. I think what makes it, I mean, everything makes it. But again, I probably said fermented soybeans like, like 25 times in this video. But that, it's the key, it's the umami 
boosting ingredient to almost every single dish here. Actually, yes, every single dish here. And almost every single Shan dish. It's similar to miso. Um, I mean, it's similar even to soy sauce in that it boosts the flavor and just the, rounds out every dish. So you taste nuttiness in here. You taste the shallots, the tomatoes, the sourness of the tamarind leaves themselves. Oh, that is so good. So refreshing. Such such a burst of sour nuttiness. Okay, next up for the, the fern salad. And this one includes the extra ingredient of sesame seeds on top. And then she did heat some oil to pour on top of this one. So that sizzled and just lightly. Oh, and, and also the ferns are also blanched as well. So they are they are cooked rather than just completely raw. Mm. That one is amazing too. A bit more of a saltiness to it. And without the sourness like the tamarind leaf. But the shallots, the sesame seed adds so much to it too. And she did add chilies. She added in, um, again, fermented soybean. Everything has fermented soybean in it. I love the texture of the, of the fern. It has a crispness to it, but it slightly has a little bit of a gummy jelly texture to it as well. What? A salad mixture. That is amazing. Uh, the next one is the lab lab salad, or the hyacinth beans, which they, they do kind of look like big, thick uh, snow peas. But this one was a little bit of a different method. Instead of the raw dressing, she actually cooked down the dressing, made almost a, a paste of a dressing by simmering off some tomatoes and then boiling some oil and then mixing that together. So it was a kind of a cooked dressing for this one and then hand mixed it all together as well. Mm. Oh wow, it's so juicy. The soybeans, the tomatoes just burst. The refreshing taste of the coriander. Oh man, all three of the salads are just award winning and totally different flavors. And additionally different from other salads, anything I've tasted before. And then the last dish we have here is the green soup with again, the stock, oh ginger in there, young ginger. But again, the stock made with the fermented soybean. And you can see that does almost look like miso soup if you look at it. Oh, oh, I love that. The bitterness of the, the mustard green coming out in that broth. And this one is made so it's not salty. I don't even know, maybe she added just a tiny bit of salt, but that's kind of a palate cleanser. Mm. Just clean, juicy, extremely healthy tasting. I love the flavor of those mustard greens too. another beautiful evening in Mung Bon uh, and this meal oh man the flavors the spices the fermented soybean incredible food Shan or Tai Yai food I want to say a huge thank you to the aunties who cooked this meal who prepared it with so much love uh, and to Kun Pui who arranged it uh, and this is her family her homestay here uh, but outstanding meal I'm gonna sit here and probably yeah definitely keep on eating. For me, it was also a learning experience. Uh, these combinations use the use of the fermented soybean discs, which can add, I think that's an amazing idea because I think you could use it in so many different dishes and add a burst of completely natural plant-based uh, umami to every, almost everything that you eat. You could add that and it would burst the, it would boost the flavor. So that's given me some ideas as well on how to use uh, the fermented bean discs. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching and please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Big On Spice where we're gonna be learning and eating unique fruits and vegetables, um, eating just food that's good for us and food that's big on spice. And today, seriously big on spice, every dish, seriously big on flavor. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.